Hello everyone, my name is Mishari al Mukheri. Today we're talking about story Mishari, M-E-S-H-A-R-I. Today we are talking about sad story, which is the Kuwait oil leaks. Actually, we are dealing today to, or we are aiming today to, evaluating the multi-stage system for remediation of the Kuwaiti oil leaks. Actually, Kuwait environment suffered significant damage result from Iraq invasion. And the result of this destruction, a huge quantities of crude oil had released, forming what are we know as the oil leak. And the most majority of the oil leak now are drained, and the oil leak remain as a serious source of environmental hazards. Kuwait environment today facing a big issue result from this environmental hazards. One, contaminated the surrounding aquifer, contaminated the surrounding soil, caused a threat to the human and to the ecological. Actually, according to the IARC, International Agency for Research on Cancer, they reported that the benzene, the benzene is something for hydrocarbons, the benzene causes cancer even by inhalation or by digestion. So that all the oil lake in the north oil field should be remediated. We have around 172 oil lakes within one kilometers from the residential area. The aim, we try to evaluate, as we said, evaluate the multi-stage system and suggest a suitable remediation system to treat the oil leaks. That's our objective. There is real sample had obtained from the field. And the sample, it's a drain and contain a massive hydrocar hydrocarbons or a massive compounds, you know, even the GC or the device that in the university is not able to identify what is it. If you see what something we call ham, you know, ham that means the device is not able to define which kind of compound we have. And I think, guys, you know what the hydrocarbons means. Refresh your mind, hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons is something aliphatic and aromatic compound, you know. Aromatic is more dangerous, you know, to the people, even, even if you smell it. And actually, let's talk about the briefest work had been done in Kuwait. This is, maybe the picture is not clear enough. This is the only work had been done in Kuwait in 1993. And they have done a different system we call it as a soil washing, land farming, whatever is it. But each type of this remediation is not able to treat all kind of compounds. You know, it just deal with a small amount, a small range of compounds. That's my aim. My aim is to try to combine different system to treatment, to try, you know, to treat most of the compound that we have. So we suggest here multi of system, something we call a like solidification, bio, bio whatever is it, vermor remediation. The vermor remediation, something is interesting. We use the worm, you know, the worm, earthworms? You know, actually we found that the earthworms are able to biodegrade are able to treat the contaminated soil itself. And, you know, especially in the UK, now they are interesting, you know, in this range or in this field, you know, they use the worm to treat the contaminated soil. So, now that's my aim. My aim when the sample is prepared, you know, we will start with the soil washing, then, when I start with the soil, from, from the name, soil washing, you know, I will wash the soil. I will have residue color wastewater, and I will have the sand, the sand itself. The sand itself, it will go to the windrow. Windrow, it's, you know, we just leave the sand, you know, in the front of the sunlight, and we add some microorganism in it. So we leave it for like a month, you know, and try to measure, you know, the percentage of contaminated that we have. And this the vermo after the windrow will take it to the next part, the vermo remediation, the one we talk uh, which is the earthworms. You know, then we hopefully we we will have the sand ready to use. 
But if you see the wastewater, we'll use something we call a phytoremediation. It's a Latin name. The phytoremediation will use a plant, you know, plants, you know, try to treat the wastewater. Then, after the plants done its job, you know, we'll take the water to the to reuse it again. Thank you. That's all. Any more question? Any question?